Hey Stampers, this is Amy Whalen with amysinklings.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to show you how to make this very quick and easy little basket for treats. So come on in. Okay, so this is the little paper box basket that we're going to make and um, we're going to start with a piece of six inch by six inch DSP. But the new dimensions of our of this particular DSP is in fact six inches by six inches so it makes this really easy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to score it at two inches and at four inches and just a little recap on our stamp and trimmer there's a light gray tab that's for scoring I actually marked it with an S this dark one is for cutting, so we're going to move that one completely out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and score it at 2 inches and at 4, and I'm going to do that on both sides. Now this project might look familiar to you. I have made this before. In fact, I made Easter baskets back in, I think it was March. But tomorrow, believe it or not, marks the very first day of school for my county. And as a school teacher, this is the last day of summer. So I thought it would be a good time to show you a little reminder on how to make this because it's a great teacher gift. Um, I thought I would actually make this for one of my coworkers as a kind of a hang in there type of little surprise. We are kindergarten teachers and so tomorrow I anticipate 23 or 24 year old, 23 or 24 five year olds crying for their mummies and having a hard time adjusting to the long day. So after the first week of school, when everyone is in a better routine, I'll be much happier myself. All right, so we have it uh, scored at two inches and four inches from both sides. And as you can tell, I'm snipping on the score line all the way up to this horizontal line, okay? This is a very simple box to make, as I've showed you before, and I love it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put glue. You know me and my Tombow glue. I absolutely love this stuff. I like that it dries so quickly. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring these two pieces together until they meet at that point, all right? Then bring that back flap up, all right? So again, we brought these two sides up to the point and I'm smushing this back panel against it. Now I can go back and add glue to this panel and we'll be good to go. Put it back up there at that corner. Fabulous. Again, I've already got glue on this tab here. I'm going to bring these two pieces together until these points meet here and I'm going to smush it against the back. See? This is such a quick and easy gift to make. Love it. All right, and now we know we can lift this flap and put glue here. And we're pretty much good to go. Let's put a little bit right there. Super easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, now. I did take another piece of this same sheet within the stack and again this is six inches it's the full length of the sheet and this is half an inch and I'm making this into the handle so when I put the first side on I do like to put a little bit of glue just to kind of hold it in place but I am going to actually use our handheld stapler to keep these in place permanently so there's one. This is a cute little tool. I've not demonstrated the handheld stapler on my website yet. It's rather nifty. I like it. All right. Very good. And we're almost done. Now beforehand, I took the one and three quarter of an inch scallop circle, and I stamped it. Since this one is for my fellow coworker, um, it's a you've got this girl. We can do it. So I stamped that. The <laughs> you've got this stamp set. All right, so then we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of that. Put it down here, and you are good to go. I'm going to fill this one with my favorite spearmint candy. 
Gotta love the dollar store. Candy galore affordably. All right, so there's that one, and I'll bring the other one back into focus, into the camera. Fill this one back up with candies. And there you have it. Super easy to make. Give it a try. It's a great way to use our new DSP stacks. Thanks so much for coming by Amy's Inklings. And I tell you what, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to help you. I'd love to help you gain some Stampin' Up! supplies. So give me a holler at amysinklings at gmail.com. Thanks again for stopping by. Bye-bye.